Chhattisgarh. Less than six months, three months from now, the state of Chhattisgarh is going to be in active election mode and the Congress has appointed a new deputy CM. T.S. Singh there, who's been fighting a very, very long battle to what he said was his due uh, as uh, Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh, where Mr. Baghel was given that position, has finally been uh, instated as Deputy Chief Minister of the state. The word came in from the Congress late last night uh, in an official letter. Joining us uh, in a short while, in fact, I just uh, spoke with him a short while uh, from uh, now, was uh, Mr. T. S. Singh Deo, the Deputy Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. All right, joining me now is the newly minted Deputy Chief Minister of uh, Chhattisgarh, T. S. Singh Deo, joins us live. Appreciate it, sir. I believe you're going back uh, to Sarguda after you've been, uh, you know, given the Deputy Chief Minister status. Uh, congratulations, but six months, less than six months before elections, Mr. Dio. Do you also find it a little strange? Whatever comes, whenever it comes, uh, one takes it uh, in one stride. And uh, it is not really any new or uh, a responsibility that is beyond what was already there. Uh, it is a little, little add-on in the sense that uh, one was a member of the cabinet, Bhupesh Baghelji had uh, appointed, me, appointed me as a member of the cabinet. And uh, now uh, the high command with uh, consultations with him too and our state in charge, uh, they have uh, appointed me the deputy chief minister. So I'm extremely grateful. Uh, but Mr. Dio, you know, I know you're traveling, so we're getting a bit of a video break. But having said that, uh, you know, the fact is, questions will be raised, Mr. Dio, that is this what T.S. Singh Dio wanted? Or was this that, uh, you know, his entire fight for internally? Because you were never quite out in the open. You respected the party line, the party whip, the high command. You waited your turn. But was this the ultimate aim, to be deputy CM? Many would have thought that there was a power-sharing arrangement that was promised to you. I will always respect the uh, final call that the party takes, the decision that the party makes, and uh, what is, whatever they delegate as a responsibility. For uh, everyone, why uh, me as an exception, the sky is the limit. Aspirations are there. Uh, situations come about. There is uh, talk in the media, and otherwise there are possibilities. So that's okay. Uh, that's okay uh, in itself. But when it comes to converting it into an opportunity to work, then being a member of the Congress party, it is for the high command to decide uh, uh, who is to be given which responsibility, where and when. So I'm absolutely okay with that. I'm completely comfortable with that. If they uh, found it uh, opportune to give me this responsibility at this juncture, it's absolutely okay. Mr. Deo, may I ask you a direct question? Were you promised a power-sharing arrangement uh, with Mr. Baghel? Uh, I don't think I'm free to make a comment on that at this moment. Sometime, maybe. Oh, but, you know, by not commenting, you've made yourself clear. But the fact is you've uh, accepted the decision of uh, the high command, which was the deputy chief minister that you've got, sir. But, uh, you know, the BJP is also, there's enough talk of the fact that it didn't come from Mr. Baghel. This should have been an announcement that should have been made by Mr. Baghel, but it came in from the high command as such. Do you see, you know, do you see that a bit jarring? No, in the sense that uh, uh, what I have seen of the arrangement, it is the party uh, structure which makes the announcement as to who is to be the leader of the house. Uh, it is not uh, nominated or appointed otherwise. We have a system where MLAs are consulted, etc. But eventually it is the party organization. Mr. Dio, um, they take a right. call and uh, they make the decision. Right. Yes. Right. Right. So, Mr. Dio, is this what is this the template now that will be followed possibly if Congress makes a comeback in Chhattisgarh? And would you be content with this template? Do you think it could change? Are you still going to ask for what was due to you the last election, which was Chief Minister? I didn't ask for uh, being made the Chief Minister even then. Four of us had been called to Delhi. We were summoned. Uh, Mr. Charandas Mahant was there, Tamrudan Sahuji was there, Bhupesh Bhai was there, and uh, myself. 
So we were summoned by the party. On the 14th of December 2018, the results accounting had been uh, completed on the 11th of December. So I didn't ask for anything, frankly. So if the high command ever uh, takes into consideration that uh, one or more people would be considered uh, for a particular responsibility, that is perfectly all right. If it's a call to one person, that's perfectly all right. If more than one person, that's perfectly all right. If the Congress wins Chhattisgarh again, will you be content with deputy CM shit? Because it seems that the template has been uh, set, sir. I will be content with everything and anything that the party high command decides. Okay. Um, I'll ask you two final questions, uh, Mr. Bagel. The Chief Minister, Mr. Bagel, just a short, uh, you know, uh, while back, uh, Mr. Dio has uh, put out a tweet welcoming somebody from the BJP, Nand Kumar Sai, who comes from where you come from, sir. Uh, and uh, he's been given the cabinet minister uh, rank. Do you see that, Mr. Bagel, possibly trying to set up somebody in your own backyard against you, or do you see it all friendly? I don't feel that at all, frankly. Uh, he would not fit into uh, that sort of a role uh, as a leader who would be replacing me in my area, so to say, if those things are there. I would not like to say I'm a leader of that nature, etc. We do have our sphere of influence. That's uh, that's okay. And Mr. Sai, Nand Kumar Sai, comes from the adjoining district. He's from the tribal community. He's a common leader. So I don't, I don't see any conflict of interest with him. Would you want to, Mr. Deo, at this point, because you're deputy CM now, want to dispense any advice at all to the likes of Mr. Sachin Pilot, who find themselves in a possible People similar and, uh, conundrum? seek their uh, support for the election. Uh, that is uh, the uh, immediate task in front of us. Before that, we have three months in which to deliver uh, new proposals, new schemes, new works. Once the Code of Conduct uh, mm -hmm. steps in, uh, then uh, no new works are sanctioned. Old works, of course, will continue. So we have a three-month window in which to sanction new schemes, new works, okay. etc. So I'll and then it is right. people the election. Right. I'll ask you one quick question. Um, you know, any word of advice for the likes of Mr. Pilot, uh, who found who was more vocal, way more vocal than you, but found himself in a similar conundrum? A lot of potential. That was a strong base in Rajasthan. I wish him well. I would uh, certainly advise uh, patients uh, something that people seem to say I have uh, in abundance. <laughs> That's another. Uh, but uh, I am in touch with Sachin. Off and on, we do uh, share a uh, few words. And my advice to him will always be that I am sure, very sure, that with the potential that he has, with the mass support that he has, the base that he has, with the capacity, intellectual and uh, capacity to think for the state that he has, uh, I don't see anything coming in the way uh, in times to come for him to be getting the top slot. I don't see anything in the way. So he should uh, have complete trust in the high command, leave it to them, uh, maintain uh, as much... Uh, what we call patience as uh, possible. And I certainly see uh, every potential in him to be a possible chief minister in the near future. Mr. Dio, the last time you were on my show, you said patience can be a vice. I beg your pardon? The last time you were on my show, you had said patience can be a vice, sir. Uh, I don't know in what context I said that. But uh, sometimes it is taken as a weakness. You should be able to introspect and uh, see what you're doing and uh, uh, whether you're comfortable with that. You have Amitabh Bachchan as the angry young man. So sometimes the angry young man uh, being angry may get you results. Sometimes. Right, sir. We, you know, we, we are losing you there. We are going back to Sargoda. But uh, I wish you well, uh, Mr. Deo. Lots of luck. You have three months before you actually get into active election mode. And, uh, you know, your deputy CM, sir, patience, like you said, you have an abundance that's paid off somewhere down the line. But has it paid off enough? Hopefully, we'll see you in a different role.
post the Chhattisgarh elections. Appreciate you joining us, uh, Mr. Deo. Thank you.